Hi store owners, my name is Crystal and welcome to Wholesale Sweet channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss how to create different customer types in WooCommerce using our Wholesale Prices Premium plugin. So let's start. WordPress includes built-in user roles which are titles for classifying groups of registered account holders on your site. Each role has its own capabilities and permissions. By default, WordPress includes five roles. That would be the administrator, the editor, the author, contributor, and the subscriber. When you activate the WooCommerce plugin, there will be additional two roles. That would be the customer and the shop manager. WooCommerce offer regular and sale prices to the customers. That's where we come in. If you wish to offer other pricing options to your customers, our Wholesale Prices Premium plugin can provide that. By default, when you install our Wholesale Prices Free plugin, you'll get the Wholesale Customer role. But why limit with one role only when we can provide more? When you install our Wholesale Prices Premium plugin, you'll have the option to create multiple wholesale roles. Let me discuss this to you. When you install our Wholesale Prices Premium plugin, you'll have this option on your site's dashboard. You could go to WooCommerce and then you'll see here, this would be the Wholesale Roles and click that one so you can start. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we do have the default Wholesale Customer Role and here it is. As long as our Wholesale Prices Free plugin is installed, you cannot delete this role on your site. So let me try to create multiple roles here. Let's start, let's say bronze, silver, and gold. Let me put a name and make sure to fill in the row key because this would be a important or unimportant meta on your site. If you can, if you wish to have description, you can do so. And we do have the role specific settings here. If you do have an active requirement on your site, let's say minimum quantity or minimum subtotal amount on your cart, uh, you could prevent the customer from checking out if they did not meet that requirement. So you just have to click this one. But for now, let's just leave it disabled and we'll just create multiple roles here. Okay. After bronze, let's do silver. Make sure that there is a row key since if you will leave that blank, the system will ask you to fill it. Okay, if you can see, we do have four roles here that you could use and you could edit. And let's start to check it on the product data. I'm going to open one test product here so that I could show you how they look like or how this row rows look like on the product page. Let's check. I do have the test product here. You can see this would be the default prices from WooCommerce. We do have the regular price and sale price. Make sure that you fill in the regular price because when you leave this one blank, it means that the product is unpurchasable. So make sure to always fill the regular price so that the customer can purchase this product. Okay, let me, yes. If you can see, we do have under wholesale prices, we do have the wholesale customer, which is the default wholesale role. And then we do have the bronze, silver, and gold. So each role will have different prices so it's up to you if you wish to fill it or leave it blank because if you leave it blank it means that the customer will follow the regular price but if this fields are uh, if we do leave some amount here or yeah the price here if you leave some prices here it means that the customer will follow the price for their assigned role so let's say as an example for wholesale customer, I'm going to put 90 and for bronze, I'm going to put 85, silver, 80 and for gold, I'm going to put 50. So that would be a huge discount. Let me update this one. Save. So 
aside from the prices where you could give different prices for each role uh, you'll be eligible or the role also will be eligible for the order quantity or minimum order quantity you could assign let's say one minimum order of two for wholesale customer minimum order of six five a three and for the quantity step you could fill this up also for each row and we do have it is also available under our product quantity based wholesale pricing which means that you could create a table or let's say one to five products will get 10 percent discount and then six to 19 products and they'll get let's say 30 percent discount so they'll also have that option aside from that uh, you can manage the visibility for roles uh, for each role like we do have here let's say we do have the restrict to wholesale roles so if you fill this out let's say i will use wholesale customer bronze and silver so once i save this one with this roles here it means that this product will only be available for wholesale customer bronze and silver roles or the gold role and the customer the default role of woocommerce will not be able to see this product so we will discuss that on our next videos but let's just check this one on the front end let me visit the site and let me log in as a customer first or as a regular customer let me just check go, let's go to shop and let's check the test product here okay so here's the test product if you can see the price shows 100 because the regular price is 100 and currently this is my role because i am not logged in so i am just a visitor on the site if i log in let me try to log in here this logged in will be for wholesale customer role let me refresh this if you could see i do have a price here for 90 dollars which is the same here so let's try to move my or to move the customer's role to a different role so that they'll get the other discount amount let's go to user and this would be the login role on the site Check. let's change it from wholesale customer let's change it to let's say gold so we are expecting that the customer will get $50 for the best product there. In creation of these multiple roles or different customer types in your site, aside from getting flexible prices, they are also or these roles are also eligible for the other features in our plugin, such as visibility, third pricing, and many more. You could also use this as an incentive for your loyal customers. Let's say uh, they've spent a um, minimum or they've already spent a thousand dollars on your site, then they could be a bronze member. And then let's say once they've reached the five thousand dollar mark, then they could be moved to the silver member. And then once they've reached the fifty thousand mark, then they could be moved to the gold member. So. There are a lot of things that you could do just by creating multiple roles on your site. So I hope this video helps. And if you do have any suggestion of what topic we could do, you just email us. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!